A typical Sunday afternoon in May in Southern California. Sunshine, surf, serenity. A laid-back way of life. It takes a lot to get them off the beach in Los Angeles, but one thing that'll do it is the NBA Western Conference Finals as the Los Angeles Lakers take on the San Antonio Spurs at the Forum. The Galaxy of Stars, Kareem, Gervin, Magic Johnson, Mike Mitchell, Norm Nixon, and NBA shot block leader, George Johnson. One-time Laker assistant Stan Albeck has won two division titles in as many years with the Spurs and is the only Western Conference coach with a season advantage over the Lakers. His main man is the Iceman, George Gervin, the NBA's leading scorer, who averaged 32 points per game. The Iceman cometh and the Iceman scoreth, almost at will. Bruce brother Mark Overding blocks as well as bangs and helps start the fast break on occasion with Gervin the middleman here leading to a one-on-one -on -one matchup between Giants Dave Corzine and James Donaldson. Advantage Spurs. Corzine has had remarkable success with Jabbar this year and had a strong Seattle series. He's not only effective underneath but is a good perimeter shooter as well. Pat Riley made his head coaching debut a successful one against the Spurs back in November. Riley's Lakers have had another week of rest after dispatching Phoenix with the aid of the best fast break in basketball, led by the phenomenal Magic Johnson, who's averaging double figures in points, rebounds, and assists in the playoff. The Lakers have so many ways to strike, not the least of which is the accuracy of the best hook shot in the game, authored by one Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Then, as always, there's the Los Angeles Will of the Wisp, Jamal Wilkes, who led the Lakers scoring in the Phoenix series. It's game one for the right to represent the West in the NBA Championship Series. The Lakers and the Spurs today on CBS. Los Angeles game one of the best of seven the Spurs and the Los Angeles Lakers hi everybody I'm Frank Lieber and this should be a great series both teams certainly well rested the Spurs knocking off Seattle in five games and of course Los Angeles racing through Phoenix with me is my main man once again Hubie Brown and Hubie statistically this looks like a pretty even matchup well uh, in the five games that they played one another this year they both average 110 for the year, L.A. 114, San Antonio 113. In the all-important rebounding, San Antonio's first in the league, Los Angeles is second. And then when you talk about the intimidation factor, in block shots, San Antonio fourth in the league, L.A. fifth. Kind of balances out. Well, you get to this stage of the series, and the bench plays an awful big role. Who's got the edge there? Well, I think it's a standoff, because in the Seattle series for San Antonio, Bratz at the guard position, Corzine and Banks up front, all came in in double figures and really did a good job defensively. For L.A., we have Cooper, and we have McAdoo, who did it, but they need it from Landsberger up front in this series. If there is an edge, it may be in playoff experience. The Lakers have gone this far in the playoffs 14 times. For the Spurs, it's only the second. Starting on it's an opening tap right after this. The NBA on CBS. Today's playoff game is sponsored by the Miller Brewing Company. Brewers of Miller Highlight. If you've got the time, we've got the beer. Subaru, inexpensive and built to stay that way. And by Canon, manufacturer of advanced plain paper copiers. 